All right, gonna work on the little water cool brakes here again. Got to try and finish up some of these uh, little details and stuff. I think today uh, I'm gonna try and make a chain and go from here down to here, so that'll uh, that'll get the fan going. Then I think I have to make a bushing here. You see the way this goes in and out? I need to make a little bushing here. We'll measure that in a minute. And then. Uh, I think I want to radius this. See where it's a sharp edge here? I think I might want to radius that a little bit. And then uh, maybe we'll try and get this thing painted, the, the, the bracket on here. We'll get that painted. But uh, we haven't had much time for this, you know. I mean, uh, a lot of you guys know I had to do the valve job on the, the tractor here. And then uh, once we got that together, we mowed the lawn, we, we came across another problem. Uh, you gotta remember this, uh, that this deck here is like 32 years old and uh, has a few issues, has some rot there and it never really uh, affected anything. Matter of fact, got a big, big rot hole here in the front, but the thing is actually pretty sturdy, you know, I mean, I, I can stand on that, but uh, one part of it here that rotted out and created a problem was holding this uh, idler pulley, you know, that engages your blades. And it, and it was rotted out and everything, so it threw the blade. So I had to uh, put a plate behind that and back it up. So uh, we had to do that. Yeah, in the summertime, we don't have much time to work on this stuff. You know, you gotta remember this. This kind of stuff is just a hobby, you know. And then you got the coop. We had to take the coop out to a couple shows and uh, cruise nights and stuff like that. So uh, we don't have much time. But we have a show coming up and. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but it's probably going to be in less than eight, eight days or so. And uh, we'd like to take this. You know, if we if we can make it, we will. But if uh, if not, then uh, no big deal. But like I say, uh, I'm going to I'm going to do, I'm going to make a bushing here. I'll probably do it. I probably won't film it over there. And then uh, we'll do some other things. But uh, that's where we're at. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging with us during this build. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the build as much as we enjoyed building it. So, uh, let's get to work. Alright, let's uh, take a measurement and see what we need. I can just barely get this in there. I mean, it's a little cattywampus, but at least I can get an idea. Alright, 0.626, that's, uh, I'm going to call that 5 eighths. So, uh, make a 5 8 bushing. Let me see what kind of stock we got. Alright, that's a 3 8 shaft. And uh, this other bushing I made back here, I used the, that was a half inch. So I think I'll go with that. And that, that's probably what that uh, shoulder is right there. I, I was able to come up with a piece of uh, half inch uh, brass stock here. So I think we'll go with that. Polish that up, it'll look pretty good. Alright. All right, I made a bushing here. A little brass bushing, and uh, I got it to got it down to. Uh, can you see that? 0.628. That's uh, that's pretty close. It's close enough for what I need. So now we'll stick it in there and uh, see what it looks like. And then I think I'll take it apart and then cut this rest of the shaft off. Maybe leave it uh, maybe a quarter of an inch or so. In case we ever want to adjust it in or add a little bit. You know, we can always change bushings. Alright. And that looks pretty good. There's uh, absolutely no play there at all. And it spins nice, so that's good. It's all hitting up against the bearings and everything perfect. Alright, like I said, let's, uh, let's cut this off. We'll leave about a quarter of an inch and then uh, bevel the edge there and uh, we'll call that done. And then that uh, fan will be done. All right, we got the shaft cut where we want. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, get rid of the sharp edge here. You know, it would have been easier to do if uh, before I put it together, but uh, on a sander. But we can't do that now. So I'm just going to uh, get a washer there and put it out. I'm not going to take that much off, really. And just make a little. Oh, you guys probably won't be able to see that, but uh, I'll be able to see that. Nice radius. I'll put one on this side and uh, I'll just hit it with the hand grinder. Alright. 
measured these out here, and uh, what I'm going to do this time. Put a mark there. All right. Last time on this one here, what we did was just use the half a length, and then bored out the other half of that chain there. So we only use that half link, and it, it worked out well. And we did that because we thought maybe it would look better, but the master links that I have here look identical to the chain, so you really would you really wouldn't be able to see that. So what I'm going to do is just uh, get a half a link and a master link. That way I won't have to bore anything out. And then uh, stick it in there. Oh shoot! All right, we'll get that, no problem. But anyway, we're going to go that route and. Uh, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I think one of, the, one of my subscribers, I think it was Goomer, said uh, it's going to stick out like a sore ass, but uh, I think only if you look for it. So, uh, let me find that and then I'll, I'll cut this chain and we'll put that on. Alright, I've got the chain on and it's, it's uh, not too loose. What I'm going to do is uh, maybe elongate these, these bolt holes in the wood down here, maybe a quarter inch or so. It would probably work like this, but uh, being that's so long, it'll tighten up just a little bit. They uh, they sell adjusters here. You know, you can put them in here, tensioners. You know, like little rubber or plastic things that hold. Uh, they look like sprockets, but uh, probably be a pain in the ass trying to find something like that for that small. Yeah, remember that's a 25 inch chain. They might have that for bigger chain, but but anyway, let me turn the thing here. Looks like it'll work. It'll work just fine, so that's what we'll do now. We'll just elongate these holes, and while I have this off, I, I'll, it'll make it a little easier to paint it. So we're there. Then after that, it should just be uh, be the plumbing. I don't know if I showed you this radius here, but that uh, came out pretty good. See long at these holes and then uh, paint it. All right, I was going to leave this all together and paint it with a little brush, a little artist brush, but uh, after looking at it, since I got to take this apart anyway to elongate them holes, I figure I might as well take this everything apart and uh, take it out and spray it. It'll probably look a little better anyway. All right, let me take this apart. All right, I got the radiation support outside dry and I just painted it up. And I just started elongating these holes here. But uh, here's something to uh, be interesting to you guys here. This here is called a saw bit or a saw drill. And you actually go sideways with it. You shouldn't put it, I got this in a, in a, a die grinder. I don't know what these things do, 30,000 RPM or something. But uh, you just put it in a regular uh, drill gun, they work good. And uh, it's pretty interesting. A lot of people don't even know they exist. This one's broken, and you see, I don't have a tip, don't have a drill on it, but it's still good for what I'm doing since the hole is uh, already drilled. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. It's good to have these things come in like a pack of five for like six bucks or something. And this is the last one I have. I don't know where the other ones went, but anyway, I'm going to use that, and uh, I'll show you guys how it works. And you may see a little smoke. Like I say, this isn't meant to put in a in a high-speed machine like this but I'm gonna do it anyway so if you see a little bit of smoke don't get excited all right all right put your hair protection on well I got my my hose caught in up between your legs there sorry <laughs> all right Sorry about the compressor. Whew. Sorry about the compressor there. I didn't expect it to turn on. Okay. Alright, so there you go. I probably didn't have to, have to go that far, but uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, I guess the next thing I'll do is uh, bolt that back up and start putting stuff back together. Alright. Alright. Got the bracket put back together, all painted up. 
looks pretty good. Put the chain on and everything, and uh, you spin the flywheel here. Everything seems to be okay. Nothing touching, and uh, looks good. I know these chains look a little tight, but they're not. There's plenty of uh, plenty of play there, especially this one. This one got a little bit more, but I think it'll be okay. All right, so. Uh, I think all, uh, the next thing all we got to do is, uh, unless something else pops up, you know, something's always popping up, but uh, right now it looks like all we have to do is uh, run the plumbing here, and then we can uh, start it. Alright, uh, I think, uh, let me go around the other side there, and we'll leave you on that. Alright, there you go, we'll give you a look at it from this side here. Looks pretty good, because I usually, I usually end up uh, looking at the back of it, but... Uh, that's it. I guess uh, we'll call it a video. Alrighty. Enough of this.